UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valero Texas Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this second round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beeman. Rich, as this player starts their round in the lead, what should be their focus for today? Well, I think that uh, the chances are pretty good. The good thing about having a small lead is you have an opportunity to make it a bigger lead. And you want to do that. You want to go ahead and start separating yourself from the rest of the field if you can, but you can't do it all in one fell swoop. It's hole by hole. Can't wait to find out what happens here. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Oh, well done. Time for the second shot into the first. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, that's a great approach shot. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Good look at a birdie here. Hey, that's a chance. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Currently in first position. We've arrived at a par five. Straight away for the most part, but there's a lot of danger both right and left here. The fairway bunkers down the left-hand side shouldn't really cause an issue. However, the second shots, the layup zone, there is a deep bunker on the right-hand side that could be brought into play. The third shot is to a green perched well above the fairway, and it's actually a double green. This green is also part of the seventh green. Rich, if players are long enough uh, and adventurous enough, they can go for this green in two. How hard's the approach? The green sits well above the players, so getting it home in two and actually stopping it on the green, that's a tall order except for the players that are the longest in the game. Anything coming up short left is a deep bunker. But to be fair, though, that's not a bad miss. Anything, however, going long, though, can be. The bunker behind the green is really, really ugly. And here we are with their four. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. Mm, that's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. A chance to save the par if he can make this one. Looking really good, this one, for the par. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Teeing off now on this par three. You really hope that the wind is not blowing into your face on this tee shot and making it that much more difficult and longer. This green is perched up high. There's runoffs all around the left-hand side and the back portion of it, and obviously you want no part of coming up short. Players that find this green will find it difficult to two-putt as there's lots of humps and bumps and swales in it. Tee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Fantastic start right out of the gate. John, what's going on out there? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 18th. Oh, what about that save? Holding out for a par on the final hole. Whew. So after that effort, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. <laughs> oh, 
That's tidy. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Yeah, I think he's got a round 135. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Yeah, nice looking shot there. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Leading by three strokes now. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back? And that's a nice strike. This one should find the fairway. That certainly seemed to be an aggressive play and it's paid off. A putt coming up for Eagle. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. Ooh, right by the hole. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Now on the tee after a birdie. Fired up and ready for more. Players must find the fairway, avoiding that bunker down the right-hand side. But from there, second shot is up the hill to a green that runs away from the players ever so slightly. But still, going in with a short iron into this par four, a birdie is definitely makeable. Luke! That's a stonking drive. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. A wonderful shot. Well played. A chance for Booty here at the sixth. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. And Henny, what are they looking at here? Setting up this part 10 feet from the cup. Oh, that was such a good stroke. Didn't quite judge the speed on that one. Just a four footer remaining. Don't want to miss it. Could be costly. Good putt that. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Opting for the hybrid, I think. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here at the seventh. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Oh, how about that one? So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Oh, that one just missed the hole. And hitting yet another green here today. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Don't mind the look of this. 
Oh, terrific. What an effort. Leading by five shots after that. And coming off the Eagle, feeling quite proud of themselves. A big chance here at the next. Not a single bunker on this hole. Tee shot is fairly straightforward. Just hit it straight, find the center of the fairway. The second shot, however, gets a little interesting as this green is very deep, not very wide. Big runoff areas on both sides of this green. A par here is a solid number. Well, this should find the short grass. Playing this one about 130 yards out. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. He's staring down a birdie putt here. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. We have a par four on this one. Generous driving area on this downhill par four that dog legs slightly from left to right. Second shot will be back up the hill to a green that's well protected by three bunkers. This is a good birdie opportunity if you find the fairway. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Nicely done. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. What a putt started this perfectly. An opportunity to make a par here. He's currently sitting in first place. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Tee shots must be placed on the left-hand side to get the best view and angle for their second shots as this green sits below the player and moves from left to right. Tee shots down the right might be closer, but it's going to leave a second shot over a deep bunker and making it that much more difficult to get close. And what's in front of them there, Henny? And from around 135 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. This would be a great up and down from this spot. That's a well played chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Now five shots up after that hole. This hole here is a par four. Nicely done. Time for the second shot at the 12. Woo, back there, horsey. Oh. Hard to believe you could be that accurate from so far away. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole.
Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. This would be a great up and down. Certainly makes putty easy if he can chip it that close. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. He let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. Rich going for this green in two. Uh, plenty of sand there to mess with your golf ball. It requires accuracy. There's no doubt about that. There are bunkers both right and left that can certainly gobble up your golf ball if you get a little bit offline. Anything missing a little bit long and left, however, though, that is a good spot to miss it. Yeah, nicely played. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? I've been all around this, tried to read it, just can't see it, but he's got about 22 feet. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. That's disappointing. Always nice to have a birdie putt. Our current leader is enjoying a six-stroke advantage. Well, let's get amongst this 15th hole. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Well, that's a handy shot. This part is about 16 feet. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Nice putt to make for a birdie. Kind of like it. Two in a row. And with a quick glance at the scoreboard, they're currently on top with Bubba Watson in second. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A larger green than the sixth, but Bunkers galore, watch out for the one right in the middle. This one's going right at the pin here. That's outstanding. Hole in one, thank you very much. How about that shot, Luke? What an amazing shot. Let's take another look at that one. Hole in one. What a shot, what a celebration. And after that effort, they now lead this tournament with Bubba Watson behind in second place. Time to face a par four now. Coming off that ace, they got to figure out how to slow themselves down to hit this tee shot.
Great try, this one. They could get all the way onto the surface. I just love the aggressive play there, Rich. Love seeing that aggressive play, Luke. Great drive. What a great stroke. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. And let's have another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. With a quick glance at the scoreboard, they're currently on top with Bubba Watson in second. Here we have it, trying to feed off the eagle and build on that momentum here. What a gargantuan tee shot. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Always like the aggressive play. Going forward in two and getting rewarded for it. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Looks good off the blade. And that signs off on today.